Tramp. Hello, everybody. It is November 15th. Time is 1.48. I'm on my way to Greensboro, South Carolina. Anyhow, glad to be here sharing with y'all the, about the joy of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the coming day that's upon us. It's soon going to be here, you guys. There's a lot of uh, uh, distractions out there right now, you guys. Need to stay real close, stay focused on Jesus Christ, okay? I believe that's just what I was meant to do. And the Lord has showed me where he has different work for me to do, which I don't know what that is yet. That's still coming. But I do know this. I was sent here. In 1,000 feet, merge onto I-77 North. For the times that we're in right now. And that's why I got this photo. It's to share with each and every one of you. That's because the Lord, Jesus Christ, He loves each and every one of you. Don't forget that. I had somebody telling me just a little bit ago how I'm supposed to forsake everybody and everything to follow the Lord. Well, I have done that, but I know I'm also chosen and called to warn people. And you can't warn people if you walk away from people. See, this guy sounded a lot like the devil, the liar, the deceiver to me. Not only that, he made no mention of the name Jesus Christ. He talked a lot about God. He said Yahweh or Yahweh a lot, but he never said the name Jesus Christ. And uh, we know nobody comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. If you don't have the blood of Jesus Christ on you, you are not going to even come near the Father. But anyhow, uh, I tried several times emailing him back, and I finally I just had to block him. Yeah, just like... Probably one of the scoffers. I'm sure that's who they are. One of those people I've already blocked. Anyhow, time's close, you guys. It's right at hand. We need to be ready because I don't think there's much time left here, you guys. I was watching a video about uh, Dennis Quaid, an old actor. Uh, we were talking about Jim Carrey, how he's like he's talking about Jesus Christ a little bit. You gotta imagine now, a lot of these guys in Hollywood, it's, it's probably very difficult for them because they were closer to the flame. You know, and then trying to come out, you know, they're gonna, there's a lot of deception going on. A lot of them are probably gonna be made to look like idiots. Many of them have probably been killed. I don't know if you guys noticed in the last few years how many died mysterious deaths, uh, including Michael Jackson. Everywhere I look, I see these pyramids, whether they're upright or upside down, checkered floors, black and white checkered floors. Um, the news media, they got triangles on their microphones. It's everywhere, you guys. It's everywhere. This place is infested with it. That's why the Word of God it says uh, this place is a haunting place of devils and demons. Obama, when he signed that meme, he said, We come back bigger, we come back stronger, we remember. We, we, we. Well, you guys. Time to hand. You know, keep your eyes focused on Jesus Christ, okay? Stay focused on Him. You know, mark those. Remember, He said, "Test all spirits." Yeah, you know, when I when I don't hear people glorifying the name of Jesus Christ, and they're talking about a God all the time, but remember, who came here and crucified on the cross, died on the cross for our sins? Jesus Christ and it's not hard for me to see these 
people that are liars and deceivers. And uh, I can also sense and feel their hatred towards me for what I'm doing. And this last guy was literally telling me that I shouldn't even be trying to warn anybody. I'm on a walk for the Lord and not to do nothing for people, period. Um, it wasn't very difficult for me to see that this guy was. And like I said, he gave no glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. But not only that, the mockers, the scoffers, they're attacking me even more. And some of you guys might be getting emails while well, I'm getting them too. Okay? They're sending me emails too. And I can sense their hatred. First, they'll come with a form of godliness. But they deny the power of Jesus Christ. Yeah? You know? And they'll try to come in another way. Yeah, you know, just, you're, you're further off just blocking them. Don't argue or debate with them because they're just going to keep on and on and on and on and on. They won't let up. For me, I block them. I don't go on and on and on. And nor am I trying to chase anybody down to convince them of anything. The Word of God says it all. Jesus Christ, he told us what to watch out for, team. He told us what to expect in these last days. Anyhow, uh, yeah, we're close, you guys. Just know that. We're very close right now. Be ready, okay? Stay focused on Jesus Christ. Don't let anybody uh, lead you off on, yeah, you know, mumble jumble, okay? There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of people in Hollywood, I know... They probably tried speaking out against it. And they did say how, you know, the media will try to make you look ignorant and stupid, like you're crazy. They'll try to make you look like you're on drugs or who knows what they'll do. But uh, they're all, remember it says they're in high places, you guys. And they do and can make your life turn it upside down. I've literally lost everything that I had doing what I'm doing, you know, because I wouldn't stop. Nor am I going to stop. I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing until it's over. But my faith is in Jesus Christ. And that's what I proclaim is the name of Jesus Christ always throughout my videos. Uh, and I share the testimony of the Word of God in the Bible about His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. But you guys, be careful, man. When you hear people talking about God, but they give no uh, glory to Jesus Christ, remember, it's by the blood of Christ. In this photo, at the end of that trumpet, you see the white horse. What does Revelation speak of? He's coming back here on a white horse. That bathtub, it represents being cleansed, washed, made ready by the blood of Jesus Christ. That's what's in this photo, and that's what this is about, you guys. How we got to crucify our flesh, okay? You know, for me saying I had, I lost all this, I didn't lose nothing. I really didn't. But it's, it's nothing. None of this stuff lasts anyhow. It's all temporary. All of it. I didn't lose nothing. I'm very, very... Uh, grateful that the Lord chose me to do what I'm doing. This has been from the beginning of time. So whenever anybody comes up to me and whatever they say, um, I should be doing this or that or whatever, I got this to say. The Lord chose me from the beginning of time. That angel blowing that trumpet over my head, it's there because the Lord knows I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it to the end. And I'm not going to listen to scoffers, mockers, or people that want to send in emails telling me what I should be doing. It's not going to happen. The Lord chose me, and he knows, because he's the Alpha and the Omega. He knew from the beginning to the end what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it. So, I'll continue telling you guys, warning you guys, 
now. Cynthia, thank you for sending us that video on uh, sound impacts, how it distorts things and changes things, whether it be a, a pure, beautiful sound, how it has a beautiful appearance, and then when it's wicked, how it has an evil and wicked appearance. Just like the rice, where pleasant things were spoken in it for a period of 13 days, and then ugly things in another jar, and it came out black and nasty looking. Uh, that's the power of sound, you guys. You need to remember that. Like I said, these golfers, mockers, all they want to do is cause strife, uh, ugliness. Yeah, they want to give negative things. Stay close to Christ. Believe in Christ. We follow the Lord, not the world, nor the evil that's in it today. And when I spoke uh, saying sexuality, to turn from it if you can, you know, and repent from your sins, I don't say that with hatred towards you. I say that with hope that you find the Lord before it's too late. Because you don't have much time to do this. You don't have much time at all. And I hope that you're able to overcome this before it's too late. Because after when the rapture happens, what they're going to be doing is they're going to come against you and murder you. And uh, it's going to be ugly. It's going to be a lot of death. And it says, by violence, this place will be thrown down by violence. It's going to be a lot of violence. Welcome to North Carolina. Check out your Bible. Your Bible will say, by violence, this place is going to be thrown down. Okay? God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ.